Hello, uh, I'm Liz Hyder and I'm the author of Bear Mouth and I'm delighted to be part of Waterstone's Shelfie series. Um, Bear Mouth is my debut novel, uh, which was shortlisted for the Waterstone's Children's Book Prize. Uh, it's a young adult, adult crossover thriller set down a working coal mine and it was inspired by the real life stories of child miners who used to work down mines in this country in the uh, early Victorian era. Uh, it's really hard to choose three books for a shelfie because, uh, as you can see, I'm a book addict. <laughs> um, so it's really hard to just choose three, but here are the three that sprung to mind that I really love and um, I hope you like them too. So the first one is uh, Sawbones by Catherine Johnson. Um, I absolutely love Catherine Johnson. She is an extraordinary writer. Um, I think of her as sort of the queen of historical fiction. She writes ostensibly for children and young adults, but I'm 42 <laughs> and I devour her books. Um, Sawbones is the story of Ezra McAdam, who is a young boy who is a slave, born into slavery, um, and has a tumour on his face. And William McAdam, who sort of adopts him effectively, finds him and removes the tumour from his face and brings him back to London and sort of starts training him up. Um, Ezra is just the most amazing character. You will fall totally in love with him. It's an amazing page turner of a book. I loved every single second of it. Uh, it's funny, it's sad, it's interesting, it's thrilling, it's scary. I just think she's an extraordinary writer. If you love this book as much as I did, uh, then you'll be pleased to know that there's a sequel called Blade and Bone, which is also fantastic. Um, my second book for the shelfie is George Mackay Brown. Uh, this is Beside the Ocean of Time. I was going to choose Green Vo, but I don't know where my copy is. I've obviously lent it to someone. I'm really bad at lending books to people and then forgetting who I've lent them to. But um, this is a fantastic book. George Mackay Brown was um, born in Orkney and lived up in the uh, Orkneys all his life. His writing is infused with a sense of those beautiful islands and that amazing archipelago. If you've never been to Orkney, go. Um, but get a flavour of it uh, through his writing. His books are extraordinary, but his short stories and his poems are utterly brilliant. I'm welling up because I love his writing so much and I love the Orkney so much, so I'd really, really recommend him. Um, and so few people have heard of him. I'd never heard of him to my shame until I went to went to Orkney and sort of found recommendations. So. George Mackay Brown, don't forget. Um, and then my third recommendation is non-fiction um, and it's uh, Wendy Moore and it's The Knife Man. Um, Wendy Moore writes non-fiction like the best fiction writers. They are page turners. She finds extraordinary stories, extraordinary real life stories, a bit like Katherine Johnson does, I think, um, but turns them into most amazing biographies. Uh, the Knife Man is about John Hunter, who, if you've ever been to the Hunterian Museum in London or Glasgow, you might have heard of. Um, he was a surgeon, but he was so much more than that. He was a real intellectual and he was a real deep thinker. And he was also the uh, inspiration for Dr Jekyll in Jekyll and Hyde. Um, he's, I, I knew bits about him, but I didn't know much about him. And I absolutely raced through this book. It's a fantastic read. I cannot recommend it highly enough. Um, the Mesmerist by Wendy Moore is also brilliant. So yeah, Wendy Moore, if you've not read her, prepare to be dazzled. So that's it. They're my three shelfies, um, which was really hard to choose, but um, I hope you like them all. So thanks. Um, and I'm laughing to myself because this has been recorded on my phone, which is held onto a tripod with rubber bands and some sellotape. So it's all a bit blue pee to this end, but enjoy. Thanks.